So hi hello everyone welcome to Terra Special. In this video tutorial I'll be showing you how to download land cover data from USGS Earth Explorer. So as you can see this is nothing but already downloaded the land cover data for my area of interest. So you can see the classes so it is for a, a larger area because it is derived from the MODIS Terra. So the resolution will be 500 meter by 500 meter. So if you want to map for map for a larger area land cover, you can use this data sets. Now just go back to the uh, Word document. You can see this is a, a global land cover data, which is available year wise from 2001 to 2022. And the data type is land cover type MCD Q12 Q1 version 6.1. It has been acquired from Terra and Aqua combined moderate resolution imagery, imaging spectrometer that is MODIS. So the file format has been given in HDF4 file format. And additionally, we required Earth Explorer Aqua as well as NASA Earth Data login account. So let us see how to do that. Open your browser. And first, let us log into Earth Explorer. So, this is the Earth Explorer link earthexplorer.usgs.gov. I will be giving this link in the description. You can check it out. Link, click on the link. So, the first action will be login. So hit the button login. So if you don't have an uh, Earth Explorer account, I have already made a video on it, how to create an Earth Explorer account. It's very simple. I'll be putting that video in the description as well as I'll be giving it in the cast. Please do check it. Now we need to provide our username and password. And you, if you come down, you can see the option sign in. If you don't have an account, you can just click on this option and create an account. So, sign in is first. The next step is selection of AOI, that is area of interest. So, my area of interest doesn't fall in US features, so I'm going to opt for world features. Here you can search in the name. For example, my area of, is, area of interest is Chennai. So, I'm going to type in Chennai and hit the button show. At the bottom, you can uh, see the results coming up. Here you can see. Click on this result. It will be automatically navigating to the location. Now come down. Here you can see this uh, date range. Search from. So I'm going to search from. I'm going to search for the year. 2001. So the data is available from uh, 2001 to 2002. Here once again I am going to give December 31st. Okay, let me give uh, up to 2022, December 31st. And next option is data sets. So here we are going to select our data set. Just uh, scroll and come down. You can find the option NASA LPD WAC collection. Under that you can find MODIS land cover V6.1. Click on the plus button. You can see MODIS. Yeah. So additionally, uh, we must we required the uh, NASA Earth data login credentials for downloading this data. So click OK. Now this is the data. You can click on the I button so that uh, you get more uh, things to know about this data sets. Click on this I button. You can see these are the informations uh, related to this uh, processing of the image, how it has been derived. And here, come down, you can find the option product quality. 
here you can find the user guide so i will tell you the use of this uh, user guide later now after selecting the data sets hit the button results so you can see here for every year an image is there starting from 2022 let me click on the button last you can see up to uh, 2001 it has been given let me go to the first and let me download for the latest year that is 2022 let us have a view of this uh, data sets so this is how the data sets looks like it covers a larger area uh, if you are do mapping it for a larger area it is very useful for downloading this we need we need a nasa data login so here open another tab and type in add data login and hit the button search you can see the link i'll be giving the link in the description please check it out now after clicking and uh, you can see so the information so let me first sign out so actually the user page looks like this we need to provide our username and password if you don't have username and password select the register button it is very very easy you just have to create a username password first name middle name email id country affiliation study area for example here i am going to choose land processes likewise you can select accordingly and finally we need to uh, agree with this terms and after that uh, check in i am not a robot and hit the button register you will be given a you will be asked to confirm your uh, registration after doing so you can directly download the data so in this case i have already having an account let me go back and hit the button login so i have logged in successfully now coming back to the uh, earth explorer now you can without uh, any problem you can download the data you can see the data set is available in hdf format hit the button download let us wait for the data to be downloaded here let me create a folder mode is lulc i'm going to save it so we have downloaded the data successfully it's just around a uh, 9 mb now going back to the user guide so i have told you in the product quality you can find the user guide you can just click here automatically a tab will be opening and the user guide will be loaded here visit page number 9 so you can see based on the values the classification has been given respectively so now open arcgis in order to visualize the data first let me add the data so i have saved it in modis lulc this is a land uh, land cover data i am going to select add now you can see here sub data set 0 so i am going to add the first data yes now you can see how the image has been treated so let me change the projection going back to the geographical coordinate uh, coordinate system world wgs 1984 yes okay yes now you can see how the data looks i have changed the coordinate now right click on it and go to the option properties 
So here you can see the values 1 to 17 is there. If you classified it, let me choose 17, apply. This is how the data looks like. So the next step will be reclassification. So open the search bar and uh, type in reclassify. So if you didn't find the reclassify tool, uh, search bar, sorry, if you don't find the search tool here, it will be available at the top. Now select a reclassify spatial analysis tool, double click and open a tool. Now we need to input our raster, this data. Now you can see, so once again click properties. I am going to use stretched instead of classified. So you, you can see I have hit the button unique. So the unique value will be classified, reclassified. I just need to get this data properly because the old data one is equal to I have I have to put it in the new data one like this I just need to renumber it in order to properly uh, classify it because in the user guide, you can see the value is being given. Each value represents a land cover type. So we, have, we must be very, very careful about this. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, and finally 17. So these are the unique values which are available in this raster. So you can save the output raster anywhere. I'm just uh, saving it to the default. Now click OK to begin the process. So we have successfully reclassified. Now let me turn off the previous layer. You can see these are the values which are available. So let me go back to the document here you can see 17 17 is water body so i'm going to change it i'm going to change the color to blue and rename it to water bodies and the next is 16 that is nothing but barren land So likewise, you can easily uh, do the uh, give the namings. So let me go to the top. You can see evergreen forest, uh, needle leaf, or uh, evergreen forest broadleaf. So let me do it for that also. Evergreen forest. I'm going to like this. You can do and uh, 4 and 5 will be the deciduous forest sorry 3 and 4 is deciduous forest so i'm going to opt on lighter green so like this you can do for uh, each classes you can do this is a uh, evergreen forest this is deciduous same thing 
from the PDF, you can just uh, bring it. You can just copy it and paste it over there. So you can see here some fields might not be available. For example, field 3 was not there and uh, you can see field 15 will be not there. So this may vary based on the regions. So simply you can uh, easily do it without any problem. So if you have any other doubts in this, you can ask in the comment section. I will be answering your questions. Thanks for watching. Goodbye everyone.